Our third question is from Horse Rider 2777 Horse uh, <laughs> from Instagram, and it is, how many recommendation letters should I send for college applications? I only got one letter from one teacher wow. and sent it to everyone. Um, I never read the letter, so I don't what? know. <laughs> you have to read the letter. I didn't. I know. Really? really? No, they, they, they just yeah. uploaded theirs. Yeah, and I they sent it, it to the colleges for me. Mine was, to me, yeah. I sent it to every college. Jan Ridden. Really? What? Oh, oh, right, 1920s. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not that old. <laughs> <laughs> yes, you are. Yeah. You are if you use the yeah. face app. I use MySpace. No, this MySpace. is the face app. This is him younger. Huh? <laughs> He's <laughs> using it right Only now. we know what he really looks like. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'll wow. let that in. <laughs> Going Crick back keeper. to recommendation letter. <laughs> <laughs> so you use one the recommendation letter? So I used one, and I um, got it from a teacher, one of my hardest teachers, who I don't think liked me very much. But what I was did... the teacher's name? Thistle. I mean, he, I think he passed away, so uh, it's okay if I say his name. <laughs> McDougal? McDougal. Oh, yeah. I'm pretty sure there's enough McDougals in the world. Yeah, there's not a lot of words yeah. about saying his name anyways. That's true. Um, McDougal like, What subject was it? It was AP History. No, Honors History. I, I wasn't smart enough for AP, what so it was What subject was it? History. History. Got it. History. <laughs> okay. History. Oh, it's Latin. Um... <laughs> But I did well in his class, and he was like one of those guys that was very tough and wouldn't mm. <laughs> let you know if he liked you, and I just assumed mm. he didn't, but he actually asked me if I'd like to have him write my recommendation oh, letter, and I same. didn't know I, who I to ask. So what, what made you... you what made me pick him? Right, yeah. <laughs> um, and I figured, you know, he'd probably give a good perspective of me as a student, because he'd be very blunt and harsh, mm. um, but in a good way, cause hopefully. Um, I actually don't know. But, um... I think the only thing about that was I wasn't interested in history, and mm. even though I didn't know what I was going to major in, it wasn't really to my advantage in any way to be, like, talking. I mean, a recommendation yeah. from any teacher is great, but I would say try to look towards I, a teacher that is in a field that you're interested in. I, or an employer. I, yes and uh, no. I, yeah, That's I, I, I disagree with that, so actually. No. Oh, um, I kind of split the difference, personally. <laughs> How dare you? <laughs> no, I'm just, I'm just no, so, no, so I, okay. think, I think that's actually an important thing to raise up, an important fact to raise up is that uh, a teacher that sees you struggling in whatever you're doing, and if you're putting your best foot forward during that process, and you're showing that teacher that you come every day prepared, and you're showing improvement over time, and then that you're showing the dedication that you, yes, I know I'm struggling in this field, it's not what I want to learn, it's not what I want to do, but I do want to show that I have the drive, then a teacher is going to realize that they're going to see that and they're going to write you one of the best recommendation letters possible if they're one of the most uh, nice too. nice yeah. human being <laughs> if they're not a nice human being they might not but yeah. um I, I feel that a lot of the time the person that sees you struggle the most is going to give you the the honest opinion which you said and talk about the dedication that you have to that course and who you are as a person not who you are in that class or who you are as a, a student in that if that makes sense it's a little weird to say it that way but um i think that yeah. is my argument anyway. i am um, yeah <laughs> going, now you know <laughs> going back to the, to the amount of recommendation letters too um i think it depends on the college i for most of mine mm -hmm. i needed two mm -hmm. really and mm -hmm. i kind of yeah. split the difference between that i had um my ap comp teacher right my mr michaelitis thank you so much um sure and <laughs> and my italian teacher thank you Ms. mayette um an italian teacher italian, italian yeah. yeah that's impressive I took, that's awesome i took italian classes can so. you say something in italian for us si Bip -bip. Uh, <laughs> okay. all right um but I, I honestly i didn't do super well in her class but she saw that she, she knew me I, I spoke a little bit of italian um and we like got along really well and it was great to have her write that recommendation letter i could have asked an english teacher but I didn't really like my English teacher from junior year. And That's a big part of it. You yeah. don't want to just choose an English teacher because you're interested in English. Yeah. Definitely. Yeah. If you're like very close to that yeah. person or if you did like, really well. Or... Yeah, I asked my English teacher senior year, the one that didn't like me, um, to help me choose. I had to do a portfolio because I was going into a writing program. And I asked her to help me choose stuff for my writing program and give me critiques. <laughs> and she was just kind of like, here. And didn't give me any feedback. And she's like, I didn't know what you wanted. I was like... I wanted you to give me to edit it to tell me how I could make them better. It's just like oh, I don't care. 
Oh, oh. Great. Wow. I do. <laughs> so she was. And what was her name? Huh? No. <laughs> <laughs> We're not doing that one. Mrs. Thistle? Um, <laughs> Mrs. Thistle. Mrs. No. Thistle is a saint. <laughs> No, we're not talking about that lady. Um, well, I'll tell you her first name, Leslie. Leslie Thistle? No. <laughs> Leslie Thistle is yeah, the same. Yeah, Leslie does not like me. So like, if, if you have that kind of a relationship with a teacher, even if it would look great to have them on your resume, like, I don't know, if it's your AP physics teacher and you're hoping to go into physics for college, um, don't do that. Don't feel like just because they have something to do with your major, that you have to choose them if you don't think they're going to write you a good recommendation. You want to make sure that you're going to get a good recommendation um, because it, it's not the most important part of your college application, but it is still part of your college application. So just, you know, don't willy-nilly choose them. So I'm going to bring up uh, two things. Uh, one, I'm going to answer directly with the question, which you already did too, is how many recommendation letters should I write for my college application? Or should I you should receive. write zero. You should, you <laughs> you should, should write, write any. You shouldn't you should write any, but you should receive. Uh, <laughs> it dep it have, depends. Right? And in a lot of the cases, two was the number when I was yeah. going through, and mm -hmm. that seems to be with care too. So um, two potentially, but... You can never have you, too many. You can have too few. Right, exactly. Mm -hmm. the, so that that's a valid point is going out and trying to figure out what, what makes the most sense. And you can get multiple recommendation letters and then decide which ones you feel speak truly to you. Well, sometimes and then, and then it depends be. if they send it to you or right. send it right to yeah. the school. That, that's a, another valid yeah. point, too. Uh, so the sooner you get them, the better. Yeah. One of the things I want to bring up is we're not talking about... <coughs> everybody has talked about their high school and finding teachers and teachers that relate. You can get a recommendation letter from somebody that you work yeah. with. Yeah. And that's actually what I did because when I was at... Discount Madness, what's up? Down in uh, Pelham, New Hampshire, right on the border of Drake at Mass... Also great, one in great Tuxbury. place. Yeah. <laughs> uh, well, the one in Tuxbury is preferred distributors, but guys, I think it is Discount no Madness now. Did they change it? Yeah, awesome. but they're going out of business. So. All right, awesome. Now um, that's sadness, right there. <laughs> discount sadness. Yeah. Some grammar for you. But I did, I did receive a recommendation letter from one of the assistant managers at the time, and it was just my work ethic from being there. So that showed a different side of me that isn't the education side. It's not, but it does still show, and we brought it up before the drive. Yeah for what you really want to represent yourself as. And I feel that gave me a slight edge to other applications that are coming in because a lot of the applications are strictly high school. Mm -hmm. So when they see something that pops out that's, oh, I'm not a high school teacher, I've worked retail for 20 plus years of my life and I'm writing a recommendation letter for a high school student, it pops out. And especially when Rachel was talking about, again, on episode two, the college application process and her working, the ones that stand out are the ones that grab their attention is, oh, this is different. What, what makes us special? So I feel like think think differently on that too. It's, you are required to have as many as the college requires. And again, most common is two. But pick the ones that really represent you. And again, if your work ethic's not great and you're working somewhere, don't ask somebody for a recommendation <laughs> letter. But some yeah. of them, um, some of them will even ask you for different types as well. So they'll want like a teacher and then someone in your community, whether that's yep. a religious connection or a work connection, or if you go to dance classes and your dance teacher writes your recommendation, they'll ask for like an academic re recommendation and a non-academic one. So you can kind of play around with that and. Um, it might you might need like three or four recommendation letters total that you send to different colleges so like if one of them says you need two teacher recommendations then you get the two teacher ones I think also most um, schools will require a third recommendation and it's from a guidance counselor mm -hmm. that the guidance counselor just always has to send um, for the most part and so I, I guess technically the number is usually around three but you don't even have to Get to talk know your to the guidance counselor. Yeah, definitely get to know your guidance counselor before <laughs> or else they, they write like, it. They'll know what to write, and they'll mm -hmm. just be like yeah. a very generic and they'll letter. Her, yeah, it, so, it kind of sucks. There was someone um, my senior year, um, a, there was a guidance counselor who retired the year before. So oh, someone so came in like, counselor. yeah, a new mm -hmm. guidance counselor. They didn't know mm -hmm. any of the students. And I was like, that's the worst. That, yeah. So that makes it wasn't me wonder how my many stock counselor, ones they but, write or yeah. send out. Well, they were just basically meeting lessons. with seniors the whole first couple of months, being like, tell me about yourself, and taking yeah. notes, and just trying I'm to I'm the know them. number one student of my high school. <laughs> uh, I graduated with a 4.0, and I take all AP classes, and, and it's I really think that you should write me a letter of recommendation right now. <laughs> they, uh, they can tell all that. They have Before you look up that information. Yeah. <laughs> Not in my day. <laughs> 1920s, it was all handwritten. <laughs> Trust was big. Uh, 
good time. <laughs> the a roaring, roaring time. <laughs> yes. I know <laughs> one thing. We've been doing this podcast too long. <laughs> too long. I, I would love to speak to a per- an admissions person at college and just say, what is it you look for in one of these letters? Because Rachel. Yeah, watch, I, watch I episode two. Right? <laughs> in, in our case, more recently, they always say, make sure your resume is very catching. It yep. looks good. So I'd be curious to know, you know, you know, they read so many admissions letters and all these different things. What specifically should they look for? And I wish I had that answer. But the person who might have that answer is your guidance counselor. Yep. So that goes right back to get to know your guidance counselor. Um, or even talk to your admission counselor. Talk to any. Um, yeah. Because when you go on college mm-hmm. visits or just even send them an email, just say, I'm considering who I would want to write my recommendation letters. Mm-hmm. What uh, sort of what do you look for in one yeah, of those? Yeah, that would be the most impactful. Yeah. yeah. You don't be afraid to ask questions. I think that, that's actually questions. like a very underrated thing. Is when you're in high school applying for college, you think of the high school teachers, you think of the, yep. your your high school guidance counselor. You don't think of the college that you're applying for. So if you already have a college in mind, reach out prior to. Yeah get that connection immediately and that's actually something that Rochi also brought up on the podcast is somebody that I've established a relationship with and then it gets down to the application process I already know this person in particular so now I have this connection so if somebody comes in with the same amount of you know the the qualifications I can decide that this person is going to get in because they've yeah. shown the extra effort and they've already reached out and they said I'm really interested in the school and I want to be a part of this program and yeah. this community so this that's co- something that we haven't really talked about yet but um, yeah. you just brought it up so that's a great point yeah no, this goes off topic of the question which we're fine with doing on this podcast <laughs> obviously <I dare> you. <laughs> um, but always make sure to talk to and recognize the admission counselor was Sean the admission counselor for New England when you were there no oh well I met Sean I was a sophomore um I don't remember his last name at the moment but he was I don't know if he still is but he was the northeast um like admission counselor for Champlain and every single college uh fair I would go directly to Champlain desk I would pick up the free stuff I'd say hi I'm Kara we met at the last one yada 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 have a little chat every time I went to campus hey I'm Kara met you at this last thing oh yeah and they start to recognize you you want to make sure that you have a face to your name and Mm -hmm. asking questions like i'm trying to pare down who i want to write my recommendation what is it that you look for do you look for teachers do you look for uh leaders in the community do you look for dance teachers do you look for bosses um what would you like to see um and giving them you know just just asking them because they'll tell you what they want so what you really really yeah i was just gonna sing (laughs) it Might as well give them what they want. Give the people what they want. Come on. 